And let's go to northern Jefferson County now for a report where around the Theresa and Redwood area, around 1,500 customers have been without power. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres spent the day there. She's in Watertown Live for us here tonight to talk more about what the winds did. Sandy. Jeff, when the power is out, many flock to where there's electricity, and often that's a gas station. While at a gas station today in Theresa, I met Carmen and Sarah. Carmen and Sarah's making a quick stop for gas to keep his generator going back at home. Tuesday's strong windstorm took out the power. Last night was uh, definitely, it was wicked last night. The noises and the creaks and the trees coming down was, uh, was tough to hear. We follow in Sarah back home on Hoover Road and could clearly understand why the power was out. Snap poles and trees hanging over power lines. In the 25 years that in Sarah has been living on this road, he says he's never seen this kind of storm damage before. There's been power outages and trees on lines, but not this extensive. This is further down the road. This tree fell right on top of a small hill he and his family used during the winter. Just on Sunday, we had come, we had finished, you know, shoveling snow at our house once the other snow was kind of done coming down. And then we said, ah, let's go slide like we used to do when the kids were little or here anyway. And so we did. And now a couple of days later, uh, we have this. And only a few hundred feet from his home, this tree fell and blocked the road. And Sarah says someone cleared the path, making it possible for him to make it to the gas station. Well, all we can do is continue to uh, get gas, fill our generator, so we can continue to have our heat and water. Well, with snow coming down, and Sarah says he hopes snowplow crews are careful, given that there's still some debris left on the roads. Jeff. Sandy Torres live tonight. Thank you. Now to save